The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to lesson seven of our distance learning session. I am Ndiku Mevelin, a geography teacher for form two. Today, we are going to look at lesson seven, which is the main food crops in Cameroon and their preservation. The type, the different food crops that are cultivated in Cameroon and how these foodstuffs are being preserved so that they cannot get bad. First of all, we look at our lesson overview. We have previous knowledge, learning objectives, justification of the lesson, the lesson itself, exercises and assignments. Let's look at our assignment of last class. The question Name the different food crops cultivated in the tropical region of Cameroon. Since we are talking about food crops, which are these food crops that are cultivated in the tropical region of Cameroon? We have maize, we have granules, we have millets, sorghum, rice, and we should realize that these are mostly cereal crops that have been cultivated in this area of the country. Let's look at previous knowledge. The learners have already studied the different agricultural products cultivated in the different natural regions. They have already outlined the different crops that have been produced in these natural regions. And these natural regions are practically, they are found in Cameroon. They have already done the equatorial region, which is found in the southern part of Cameroon. And in our last class, we did the tropical region, which is found in the northern part of Cameroon. But let's look at the lesson outcomes. We have to look at the main food crops or the main food items in Cameroon. We proceed to identification of the areas where these food crops are cultivated. And we look at the importance of these food crops and how these food crops have been preserved. Let's first of all look at a situation in real life. Cameroon is endowed with a great variety of food crops, which includes yams, cassava, potatoes, maize, granites, rice, But the preservation of these food crops is a great problem. Let's take 
our situation in real life once more. Cameroon is endowed with a great variety of food crops, which include yams, cassava, potatoes, maize, granite, rice. But the cons conservation or the preservation of this product is a problem. Before we go to the justification of our lesson, let's look at examples of action. What should we do in order to preserve these products, these crops? We have to carry the drying methods. We have to smoke. We have to do salting. And we have to use insecticides so as to preserve these food crops. And this takes us to the justification of our lesson. It will enable the learners to better manage resources. These resources we take time in order to produce them. And if we don't take time to preserve them, it means they will get bad. And obviously, the population will suffer. So we have to learn how to better manage these resources. And that takes us to our lesson plan. We have food crops in Cameroon, their area of distribution, importance of these food crops, and the preservation of these food crops, the different methods, how these food crops are being preserved. We go to the different food crops in Cameroon. These are the different items or the different crops that are being cultivated in Cameroon. And since we earlier said Cameroon has two natural regions, we have the cultivation of tubers, we have the cultivation of cereals, and also tree crops. And when we look at the bioclimatic zone of Cameroon with the equatorial and the tropical climate, it influences the diversity of the different food crops that we have in the country. We have mentioned some, and we realize that these food crops, there are so many of them that are being cultivated in Cameroon. And it is because of the bioclimatic condition which is the equatorial climate and the tropical climates that have led to a great variety of these crops being cultivated in Cameroon. We look at the major food crops in Cameroon and their area of distribution. We have the far north region. In the far north region, we have the cultivation of millet. We have sorghum, we have maize, the far north region and the north region. And when we continue right down to the Adamawa Plateau, we also have the cultivation of these different cereals, maize, millet, sorghum, rice. And when we come down to the southern part of the country, that is the forest area, we have mostly have here the cultivation of tubers, like cassava, like sweet potatoes, like yams. And we also have the cultivation of tree crops. These tree crops, they are everywhere in the country. But they are, the great quantity is in the forest area or in the southern part of the country. We have mangoes, we have pineapples, we have pawpaw. They are cultivated nearly everywhere in the country. These are the different food crops that are being cultivated in Cameroon and their area of distribution. Let's look at tubers. 
tubers, as we have earlier said, they are, caught, they are being cultivated in the equatorial region or in the southern part of Cameroon. And they are caught, they are, they, they grow well in this area because of the climatic condition of this area that need much rainfall and very thick soils so as for these plants to do well or to grow well. The yams, the sweet potatoes, the cocoa yams, the cassava, these are tubers. Then we have cereals. Cereals, they are being cultivated in the tropical grassland area or in the northern part of Cameroon. And since this area has the equatorial climate with low, shorter period of rainfall or short period of rainfall, cereals do well in this area because these are crops that they need a short, uh, they need moderate rainfall in order to grow. We have maize, we have granite, we have sorghum, we have millet, we have beans. And it should be noticed that these agricultural products or these crops are being consumed everywhere in the country because they are being transported from one area to another. And that is why when we go to our market, we have diversity of these products because they come from the different areas of Cameroon. We also have plantains, bananas, and other food crops that are also highly cultivated, especially in the forest areas. We had earlier mentioned fruit crops like mangoes, oranges, opal, they are highly being cultivated in this area. And we mostly have banana plantations in the forest zone or in the equatorial area where they are being cultivated in large quantity. Let's look at agricultural products that are cultivated in great quantity in Cameroon and the different areas where they are being cultivated. We have rice. Rice is being cultivated in Lagdo area, in the northern part of the country, in the Ndor Plains, in the northwest region. We have the Mbo Plain in the west. And we also have Nanga Eboko in the center region where this, where rice is highly being cultivated in, or rice is cultivated in large quantity. And it is being distributed, or it is being taken to the different areas of the, or the different towns in Cameroon where they are being sold in these areas. We have granite. Since granite, it is highly being cultivated in the northern part of the country, especially in Garwa and Marwa, at large scale. We have banana. We have banana plantation, especially in the southwest region of the country, the CTC plantation, and the De Monte plantation, where banana is being cultivated in large scale. How are these food crops important to Cameroon? It supplies the country with food. We have mentioned the different food crops that are being cultivated in the country. And these different food crops are being consumed, they are highly being consumed in Cameroon. So these food crops that are being cultivated in Cameroon, they serve as food for the growing population. These food crops, they also serve as income to 
the local population. Especially the population in the rural area where most of these food crops come from. We know that about 70% of the Cameroon population deals with agriculture. They carry out agriculture. And most of this, uh, and this uh, a greater number of this population is found in the rural area. And their main activity in this area is agriculture. And they don't only cultivate in order to consume. They also sell so as to have income that they can help to manage their own families. We have sources of foreign income to the country. Agriculture is also very, very important to the country. Because since a greater number of or the greater population of the country is involved in agriculture, most of these products are also being consumed out of the country. We have neighboring countries, we have Gabon, we have Equatorial Guinea, we have Congo, we have Central Africa, where these products are being exported to these countries and foreign income is brought into the country. We have talked about the importance of these products, the different products. How do we conserve these products? How do we preserve these products so that we should continue having them in, we should continue having them when we need them? We need to look for preservation methods so that we can store these products, we can store these crops in good condition so that they cannot get bad. We have the different methods of preservation. We have the traditional methods. And we also have the modern methods. When we talk about traditional methods, these are our local methods that we use in our countryside, in our homes, in order to keep this product or to keep these agricultural crops intact. Then we have modern methods. Modern methods, which are, maybe they pass from, a, a, they can be processed in industries and kept in containers that they cannot get bad. Or they have, there are items that we keep, or there are uh, different items that we keep these crops in them so that they can stay for a longer period of time without getting bad. So we have our traditional methods. We do salting of meat and fish. We do smoking of fish and meat. We do drying of maize, beans, and plantains. We dry them under the sun or in our homes so that they can stay for a longer period of time. We have our image here that shows our local method of preserving corn or maize in our area. We tie it and we hang it on the roof or a roof of houses and it get dry. When it get dry, we remove it. Either we put in containers or we can send it to them, we sell it to the market or we consume it at home. And with these methods, they, this maize can even stay for one, two years without getting bad. Summary. So, 
These are the different traditional methods of preserving food crops in Cameroon. But we don't only have the traditional methods, we also have modern methods of preservation of food crops in Cameroon. And these food crops, we can put them in refrigerators so that we store them for a longer period of time. We can put them, they, are, they can be processed in the industries and put in containers or cans where they can be, where they can, where they can, they, they can be preserved for a longer period of time and they can be taken from one area to another. And we can also use insecticides in order to preserve these different agricultural products for a longer period of time. However, when we look at agricultural products in Cameroon, there are so many of them. We have mentioned, we have already enumerated. These products, they are very important to the population. We have them in abundance. And the growing population need these products in order to continue surviving. And as a result of that, we cannot allow this product to get bad. So we need to, we, the, the, we need to practice the different preservation methods so as to keep these agricultural crops intact. And we are going to look at some questions on what we have just done. Let's look at question one. It is about climatic zoning Cameroon. We have, at the beginning of our lesson, we talked about the bad climatic zones of Cameroon and their importance as compared and, and as concerning the diversity of agricultural product that we have. And our question is based on the bioclimatic zones in Cameroon. Which is the bioclimatic zone in Cameroon in this area? A, we have the equatorial climate. B, we have the Guinean climate. C, we have the polar climate. And Z, we have the Cameroon climate. Our response there is A, the equatorial climate, which we mentioned at the beginning of our lesson when we were talking about the different bioclimatic zones. We talked about the equatorial bioclimatic zone or the equatorial climatic zone and the tropical climatic zone, which are the main climatic zones in Cameroon. We look at second exercise, question two. Classify the following crops under tubers, cereals, cocoa yams, maize, sweet potatoes, rice, millet yams. We have to classify these different agricultural products under tubers and cereals. We have mentioned this many times, the different crops that are being cultivated in Cameroon. And these crops, as a result of the diversity in the climatic condition of Cameroon, which enables us to have so many of these crops, the tubers and the cereals. So we have to classify them under these two groups. Tubers, 
We have cocoa yams, we have sweet potatoes, we have yams, and cereals, we have maize, rice, and millet. We should know that when we talk about cereals, these are grain crops. Grain crops. And when we talk about tubers, they are crops that they bear in the soil. And that is why they need what they need a lot of soil nutrient in order to produce well. We have an assignment for our next class, which is question. Which method of conservation is highly used in the hot desert region? We have talked about conservation methods. And we have to look at the conservation method that is highly being used in the hot desert region. And that we will answer that in our next class. And we have come to the end of our lesson. Our next lesson will be man in the desert region. Una tege si matege yop, una tege minga matege nyum, una tege majang matege ndom, mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen, ngani bana matege mot, ngani la kiri watege ndom, esa kina bia dinki do, mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia ninya ne injo bia yen 